In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a ton of social media content, and in my case, specifically Reels videos using Jasper. So let's jump into Jasper and let me show you how I do it. So what I have here is a already started document. Basically what I do is I go and I research all the questions that people are asking around my pillars. My pillars would be things like content marketing, AI, uh, using AI for content marketing, repurposing content, anything around content marketing basically is stuff that I teach and that's usually what I'm sharing in my reels. So I go out, I use things like Surfer SEO, I go into Facebook groups and see what questions people are having, I ask my audience what type of questions you have and then I compile a list which is actually what you see down here at the bottom. I just bullet point the list, I keep it in a Google document and then I just transferred it all over. Now what I did here at the top is I take my question and under that I will do a boss mode command. I'm gonna show you how to do all this in a second. And I'll say, answer the question above. And that's it, that's the command. It's gonna answer that question and it gives me this little snippet. Now keep in mind, because I'm using this to create short reels, so 30 seconds or less or 60 seconds or less, depending on the platform you're creating your video content, reels can be 60 seconds or less, but I do try to keep them shorter than that. I wanna keep each answer really concise, but also very useful. So I've already done two of these and I'm about to do another one. One other thing I'm gonna show you before I start is you'll notice that in between each answer, I put three asterisks. That's just telling Jasper, don't look at anything above. And then finally, one more thing, over in my tone of voice, I put Instagram. You could use any tone of voice you want. You could do witty, you could do Bob Marley, you could do whatever you want. In this case, I'm making reels for Instagram and I find that Instagram is actually a great tone of voice for that. So let's get started. The question I have is what are some examples for repurposing content? And I'm just gonna use the command, answer the question above. And I do my command return as my boss mode command. And if I wanna keep going, I can compose. Now, as you can see, it's coming up with a lot of ideas. And I don't necessarily need to show all of these ideas because it is a reel, but by the way, since we are talking repurposing content, I could take this same information it's creating, create another document in Jasper and actually create an entire blog post or script for a video that's longer or a podcast, just an FYI. So I would just go in here and I could delete some of these things. Let's get rid of this one and let's get rid of this one. So I'm just gonna take a couple of these and then I'm going to just write my own little closing. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna do three asterisks. I'm gonna go down to my next question. Why is repurposing content important? I'm gonna paste my command because I already knew every time I was gonna ask the same command, answer the question for above, so I just copied it. And then command return is our boss mode command. And I want it to continue, so I'm gonna do command J or hit the compose button. All right, and see, it's already finished it up for me. So again, three asterisks and move to the next one. Boss mode command, answer the question above. What are examples of content creation? Compose, compose one more time. Now this is getting a little long, so I might not use this one or I might go and shorten it. If it gets too long, but you love the content that's coming out of this and this will happen quite a bit, do not delete it, save it in another document. Again, utilize it for a description of maybe a longer Instagram post or a blog or a podcast. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one just for the sake of time. How do I start content creation? I'm gonna do answer the question above. Oop, we forgot our asterisk, one, two, three. And we're gonna do boss mode. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start the next sentence. But I'm not gonna finish it because I wanna show you how I start a sentence and allow Jasper to help me finish it. We don't need the few these ones right here. We actually have here the answer for this question here. This one's done, but Jasper went ahead and did something else. He went ahead and created more content. Now, I'm not gonna include this particular content in this video clip that I just created here, but I actually really like what's coming up here. I'm gonna use this as another video. One, two, three. Plan your content in advance. Keep your target audience in mind. Be creative with your content and publish new content regularly by doing the above and then compose J. So that's another video that I have created. 
Again, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. So I'm gonna just keep going through this. So after I'm done completing all of these scripts, basically these little mini scripts, I'm gonna put it all in a teleprompter. I'm gonna shoot it all at once, or if you wanna change outfits, you do you, but I'm gonna wear the same outfit, shoot the whole thing at once, clip it out in my video editor, and then I'm going to save it all in a Google Drive folder. That way I can access it on the go or my VA, can access it, whoever I need to access it, and I can post those reels every day. I'm already batched out and I have great content that answers specific questions about my niche. I hope that this was helpful and I can't wait to show you more ways that you can use Jasper for your business.